Hello, thank you for joining me as we explore our advanced scheduling tool. The advanced scheduling tool will give you additional power and flexibility when it comes to meeting your more complex scheduling needs. Schedules can be automatically generated based upon your organization's unique requirements to help control your labor costs, minimize compliance risk, and improve productivity. Today we will cover our advanced rules engine, which will help prevent overstaffing or understaffing shifts, as well as helping to reduce excessive overtime. We will then look at how you can auto-create and maintain schedules based upon your business needs. And finally, we will discuss how your employees can access and manage their own schedules. That being said, let's dive in and take a look at the rules behind the schedules. So to begin, we are going to log in as our schedule manager, Kathy Watts. When it comes to the advanced scheduling module, you can set up rules to help maintain your schedule based upon your special scheduling needs. So let's begin by taking a look at the advanced rules engine. Your scheduling rules will be set up within the scheduler profile, which will then be assigned to the appropriate employees that will be expected to follow those specific rules. You can have multiple schedule profiles enabled within your company if needed. Within the scheduler profile, you will notice that you can define the scheduling constraints. For example, you can set up rules to help reduce overtime by setting scheduling constraints to prevent an employee from being scheduled more than a certain number of hours per day or hours per week. There are quite a few rules that can be enabled under the Add Schedule Constraint button here at the top of this screen. As you can see, we have many different scheduling rules that can be configured based upon your business needs. So for example, is this employee already scheduled to be off due to a PTO request? Does this employee have a scheduling conflict on the same day? Or do we need to set rules around consecutive days worked or rest periods, etc.? Now, as I mentioned previously, these rules are profile based, which means you can have a different set of rules for different groups of employees. Now we also have rules that can be set up behind the schedule. So let's take a look at our schedule settings. Now when creating your schedules, you can have a master schedule that includes all employees, or you can have a separate schedule for different locations, departments, etc. If you have separate schedules, you can set rules for that specific location or that specific department. And within the schedule settings, you can define the schedule length. You could have a weekly, biweekly, or even a monthly schedule set up. Here you can also see which employees are associated with this particular schedule or which employees are eligible to work within this schedule. And you can also identify which cost centers are affiliated with this schedule as well. When building this schedule, the system will only allow you to fill shifts with the employees that are eligible to work within the cost centers listed here. Within the schedule settings, you also have the option to add additional rules or constraints. As you can see, you can create budgets for each individual schedule to prevent overstaffing and to help control your labor costs. And finally, you can also set additional rules against the employees themselves. So, for example, what is their work time availability and what cost center skills or qualifications do they have? Within the team setup menu, you can empower your employees to set their own availability and manage their own work-life balance. When scheduling employees, the system will flag a violation if you try to fill a shift that conflicts with the employee's availability. Here you can also define what cost centers the employees are eligible to work in or what skills your employees have in order to fill the appropriate shifts. To view the employee's information, you will first need to select an employee from the list. And now we can see which cost centers Ashley is eligible to work in. Each shift has a required skill set or qualification associated with it 
The system will make sure that the employee has the appropriate skills so that you have qualified people scheduled in every shift. Now that we have checked out the rules engine, let's take a look at how to create a schedule. Here we have a screen that is showing us all of the schedules that have been created for this company. As I mentioned previously, you can set up separate schedules across different locations or different departments. However, in my example, we are just looking at one schedule across the entire company. Now our scheduling manager, Kathy, needs to set up a new schedule for an upcoming week. So to do this, she will simply click on the Add New button and she needs to identify which schedule she will be building and the start date for that schedule. There are multiple ways that you can create schedules within the system. So for static or non-fluctuating schedules, you can create a schedule template and auto-generate the schedule week over week. These schedules are still important, allowing you to track attendance and time away from work, but these can be automated to free up your time for other initiatives. Now, we can also create schedules based upon volume. Volume-based scheduling will allow you to import volume and create shifts based upon forecasted data. For example, in healthcare, you can import the patient census data so you know how much staff is required to give quality care to your patients. In retail, you can import sales revenue data to make sure that you have enough staff to cover your business demand. And in a call center environment, you can import call volume to make sure that you have enough phone coverage based upon your forecasted data. Now the last way to create schedules is to begin with a workload template, which will outline the general shift requirements. So let's take a look at an example of this. As you can see, after we've selected our template, we now can see all of our shifts have been identified based on the template that was selected, and they are color-coded for easy identification. Kathy will then need to generate the shifts for open coverage. And this will move the open shifts from the template to the schedule so Kathy can fill those openings. So let's take a look at an example of this. Under the open shift panel here on the left, we can see all of our open shifts being displayed. Kathy can assign the open shifts manually directly from here if needed. But she can also auto assign these shifts to help save time so she can focus on more strategic priorities. This action of auto-signing the shifts does take a minute to populate out the schedule. During this process, it is looking at each employee's availability, what skills they have, and what cost centers they can work in. In addition, it's also looking back to our advanced scheduling rules. These rules will ensure that there are not any scheduling violations. Remember, these rules can be configured based upon your specific business needs. For example, you can set up rules based on number of hours worked per day or per week, and this will prevent an employee from being scheduled into an overtime situation. Once the shifts have been automatically assigned, Kathy can view the fully populated schedule. She can easily review and manage the schedule on a day-by-day -day basis. And here at the top of the screen, you can see the total number of scheduled hours and any unfilled hours across the entire schedule. And when you refresh your screen, you will get visibility into the labor cost associated with this schedule as well. Now, any open shifts for that day that you are displaying would be identified here on the left, and they can easily be filled directly from there. You can also group this schedule by cost center to get better visibility into each location, department, job, etc. So now you can see each cost center is broken down on the schedule to help ensure that we have the right coverage. Each shift is color coded for easier schedule management. And if we scroll right here to the bottom of the screen, we have access to a coverage chart. 
This coverage chart is based upon your initial workload template that was used to build the schedule. We can then easily identify if we are overstaffed or understaffed based upon that original template. While this schedule has been auto-populated for Kathy, she may want to review it and make edits before posting the schedule to her employees. So in this example, let's say that we need to add an additional shift. We are now brought to a shift management wizard where we can identify the shift date and time. Let's change this shift to begin at 8 a.m and end at 4 p.m. Now we need to define the shift qualifications. Here we can define the cost center and the skill that are required for this shift. And now we can assign the employee to this newly created shift. As you can see, this is a list of employees who are available and eligible to take this shift. This is considering all of your scheduling rules to prevent any scheduling violations. Here on this Others tab, you can see an example of how the system filters out any employees that do not qualify for a shift based upon your scheduling rules. So it will check for skill and cost center eligibility, overlapping shifts, overtime, time off, and availability. Let's go ahead and select an employee to fill this shift. Once we select the employee, we can view that employee's full schedule details and compare it to their defined availability. And once we're ready, we can save this shift and it will be posted to the schedule. We can also adjust the existing assigned shifts by clicking on the colored shift bar right here on the schedule itself. As you can see, a pop-up card appears which will allow us to get increased visibility into this shift. This will allow us to delete the shift, copy a shift, unassign the employee from a shift, or even manage the shift. This is the same functionality as we saw when we added a new shift. Here we can change the date for the shift or the time. We can also split the shift. We also have the ability to change the cost center or the required skill for this shift, as well as assigning a different employee to fill this shift. Now remember, this view is looking at one day at a time, but here on the left-hand side of the screen, we can toggle to review each day on this schedule, making any adjustments as we go along. We can also look at the entire week all on one view. So here we have the same level of visibility as you had with the day view, but on a larger scale. We can still get visibility into each one of these shifts by accessing the pop-up card, and we can make adjustments as needed. Once Kathy has reviewed the schedule, filled all open shifts, and reviewed any scheduling constraints, then the schedule should be ready to be posted. After the schedule has been posted, the system will update the schedules for the employees to view within their employee self-service portal, and the employees will be alerted through an email notification that their schedule is ready to be viewed. Now, before we check out the employee self-service functionality, let's talk a little bit about open shift management. On the dashboard, you will notice a series of tabs that have been configured to give managers increased visibility into their team. Each module has a fully responsive dashboard that includes embedded analytics to help guide smarter decisions and allow managers to take action. In this example, we have added a tile to the dashboard to flag any shifts that need to be filled. So if an employee takes a day of vacation after the schedule has been posted, the approved time off request will take the place of the shift on the schedule, unassigning the employee, and creating an open shift that needs to be filled. You can require that your employee fill these open shifts themselves, or the schedule manager can handle this process. 
This tile is identifying that we have an open shift that needs to be filled, and we can easily drill down into that open shift from here. Kathy can then review the shift details and assign the employee to the shift from here. Once again, the system will only allow us to select an employee that meets the qualifications so that we don't create a scheduling violation. Now, rather than just assigning the shift, we also have an option to post this open shift to a set of employees and allow our employees to volunteer to pick up this shift. So let's take a look. To do this, we will pull up the schedule that includes the missing punch. As you can see, there is an open shift located here on the left side of the schedule. We can then click on the Manage Open Shifts hyperlink to push this out to employees. From here, we can select the shift and select the employees that we would like to push this out to. Again, this will only allow us to post this to employees that meet the scheduling qualifications. Once the shift has been posted, these employees will receive a notification and can pick up the shift on a first come, first serve basis. Keep in mind that any changes made after a schedule has been posted can be edited right from the schedule itself and the changes will be pushed back to the employee. Now let's take a look at how an employee can access their schedule. Let's log in as Ashley to check out the employee's schedule. Now, employees can access their schedule from anywhere on any device, and right here from their dashboard, they can check out their schedule and time off calendar for quick visibility. This will show when the employee is scheduled to work versus scheduled to be off work. It will also highlight any approved PTO time and company holidays as well. When selecting a day on the calendar, a pop-up card will display showing the employee additional information about their schedule for that particular day. And by clicking on the ellipses icon, they can view their entire schedule. Here an employee can see when and where they are scheduled to work. As you can see, the system gives them everything they need to make sure they are at work in the right place at the right time. You can also give employees control over their own schedule by allowing them to pick up any open shifts based upon their qualifications and availability. If an employee needs to swap shifts or request a change of coverage, they can also initiate these changes themselves. We will get a list of eligible qualified employees that we can post the shift out to, and once posted, these employees will receive a notification and can pick up the shift on a first come, first serve basis. Any requests for scheduling changes will be routed through an approval process before going into effect. This will give the employee more control over their work-life balance, which makes for happier, more productive employees. With that, we have completed our demo. I hope that you will leave here today with a better understanding of how you can use this tool to schedule your employees using our advanced scheduling rules to help prevent overstaffing or understaffing shifts, reduce excessive overtime, and have more control over open shift management. Thank you for your time and please contact us today for more information.